For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. After leaving Wyoming, we headed to South Dakota where we stayed in three nice campgrounds. Spearfish Campground, Pactola Reservoir near Rapid City, and Left Tail Race in Fort Thompson. Spearfish Campground is located in a city park in the city of Spearfish, South Dakota. We spent three nights at this campground and had no hookups. We were there on a weekend and parked in an open grassy space. The campground was clean and nice and close to a nice downtown area filled with shopping and restaurants. There was a laundromat close by for convenience. Within the campground, there was a nice concrete walking trail along the stream and hydroelectric plant. Hydroelectric power and the many beautiful waterfalls were important to the development in this beautiful area. D.C. Booth National Fish Hatchery is located at the entrance of the campground. It was interesting to learn about the importance of fish for food, sport, and restocking lakes and streams. The fish car was used to transport water and fish to other areas in the country. There were so many fish in many different sizes in the hatchery. It was a beautiful park-like environment and we enjoyed touring the area. While we stayed in this campground, we took a few day trips to visit Spearfish Canyon, Deadwood, and Sturgis, South Dakota. Spearfish Canyon Scenic Byway is a 19 mile drive along Highway 14A. This is a beautiful gorge along the river with some hiking trails to waterfalls in the area. Hi everybody. Hi. We're somewhere. South Dakota. Yeah, South Dakota. Boy. Near S S Spearfish. Yeah. Some waterfall. Looks nice. Deadwood, South Dakota was very touristy, but we enjoyed walking through the historic area and sightseeing throughout the area. We had lunch at Buffalo Bodegas, one of the oldest buildings in the area. It was a good day. We had to visit Sturgis, South Dakota, home to the famous motorcycle rally. It was pretty quiet while we were there. Lots of shops and great deals on biker t-shirts. Our second campground for this video is Pactola Campground. We did not have a reservation and arrived early to get a first come, first serve spot. Our site was 21 and we spent seven nights and paid $13 per night. Well, Sunday morning, we're about to leave another campground. We've been here a whole week. It's a nice area, did a lot of sightseeing, uh, Mount Rushmore, Crazy Horse, uh, Custer State Park, um, Badlands National Park, which was really nice. So was Custer, but just a lot of driving. We did about 500 miles of driving because nothing's close. But um, it's pretty good campground, no, no hookups at all. So we've had to run the generator pretty much every day, uh, sometimes for the heat, sometimes for the air conditioning. The only real issue with this site is that bathroom right there. Depending on the wind. Um, other than that, we enjoyed the area. Rhonda really liked South Dakota. We did a lot of touring in the area while at this campground. First was Mount Rushmore. It was very impressive. Mm -hmm. 
Next was Crazy Horse. This is still a monument that is a work in process. It is also very impressive. We enjoyed hoop dancing from local Lakota Indians who continue to share their heritage. Custer State Park was beautiful. We only spent one day there and enjoyed driving through the park and seeing the buffalo and other animals. The donkeys were very friendly and ventured up to cars expecting a handout. Another day we went to the Badlands National Park, another impressive landscape, lots of animals and beautiful colors throughout the park. It was a nice cool day and excellent for exploring. So we're in Badlands National Park. Yes, we are. On a scenic tour. We're doing the loop, a loop very um, cool. We've seen more animals here than we saw in all of Yellowstone. All along the highway, there were signs for wall drugs, and you have to stop there if you're in the area. It was huge, with lots of shoppings and a restaurant. The restaurant was a little bit crowded for us to stay and eat, but we enjoyed walking through the store and the surrounding area. Our final campground in South Dakota was Tail Race Campground near Fort Thompson. We spent two nights at this campground at a rate of $18 per night. The campground was nice, and our Site 11 was near the lake. The campground had a nice playground, frisbee golf, a dam, and beautiful sunsets. We were a bit tired after all of our sightseeing adventures, so we took these few nights to rest up before leaving South Dakota. As Joe mentioned earlier, I love South Dakota, and we plan to return for more sightseeing and getting to know the area a bit better. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you are new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.